Austin, Texas, January 3rd, 2020. Wi-Fi Alliance is introducing new terminology to distinguish forthcoming Wi-Fi 6 devices that are capable of 6 GHz operation. An important portion of unlicensed spectrum that may soon be available by regulation around the world. 24 hours later, the machines attack. This is the story of Wi-Fi 6E. Hope you are well. Welcome to the Tech Talk series. My name is Pat, and you can insert that after Tech Man, and you get Tech Man Pat. Bam! Mystery solved, folks. So we did a video last month all about Wi-Fi 6, and of course we thanked Wi-Fi 6. Thanks, Wi-Fi 6. And if you should upgrade to it, short answer is no. But here is what you can look forward to in the future when Wi-Fi 6 is popular and widespread. More overall bandwidth per user for Ultra HD and virtual reality streaming, support for more simultaneous streams of data with increased throughput, more total spectrum, 2.4 gig, 5 gig, 1 gig, and 6 gig. Uh, said spectrum split into more channels to enable more routes for communication. So if you're living in a big building with lots of people, you won't get affected by everybody else having Wi-Fi. Packets contain more data and network can handle different data streams at once, improved performance as much as four times the maximum range of an access point, better performance, robustness, indoor, outdoor, multi-path, cluttered environments, <laughs> ability to offload wireless traffic from cellular networks where reception is poor. Great, so what's this video about? Well, you won't believe this, but the Wi-Fi Alliance wants to cause mass panic. You thought 5G was scary? Wait till you hear about 10G and 6G. But before we get into how scary 10G is and how it can melt steel beams, let's take a look at Wi-Fi 6E and surely we can make a short video about it. So let's start with the elevator pitch. Wi-Fi 6E is the name of the new extension to the existing Wi-Fi 6 standard to signify it's capable of supporting all new 6 GHz frequencies. This will add more spectrum, higher throughputs and lower latency. Sounds like Wi-Fi 7 in my honest opinion. So what's the E for? Well, it's another way to confuse consumers in my opinion. If you were simply to follow a number sequence, shoppers wouldn't have such a hard time picking up new devices. But I understand there is improvements that can be done in one generation, so therefore the E. You see, Wi-Fi 6E is supposed to bring common industry names. Common for who? Apparently Wi-Fi users to identify devices that will offer these features of 6 GHz and faster data rates, lower latency. Now, Wi-Fi 6E devices are expected to become available quickly following 6 GHz regulatory approvals, utilizing this additional spectrum capacity to deliver continuous Wi-Fi innovation and value contribution to consumers, businesses, and economies. Now, what kind of upgrade is Wi-Fi 6E really? Like, what is it actually going to do for you? We won't truly know how much of an upgrade Wi-Fi 6E is. I, I, what a terrible question to bring up in this video. We won't know until S6E devices are in our homes, but the technology is certainly promising. Like Wi-Fi 5 and Wi-Fi 6, when you set up a router, you can either have the 2.4 GHz band or the 5 GHz band. As you may know, the 2.4 GHz band are a little bit saturated at the moment, even more if you're living in an apartment, like I mentioned before. Now, even on a normal suburban street, 2.4 GHz can run into interference. So along comes 5G. Now, it is a little less saturated and has more channels but still can suffer issues. But the new 6E routers will be able to use the all new and improved 6 GHz band, which is largely free of noise at this point. Well, until people start using it, I suppose. But it is supposed to be a little bit more impervious to that. But to note, please don't confuse this with the mind-melting 5G towers in your backyard. No, this is your home Wi-Fi. At this rate, we might even see 6 GHz Wi-Fi before 5G mobile devices, as the update has been slow and expensive for many countries. So at this stage, there's plenty of 6 GHz to go around and that tapping into the band will lead to faster, clearer connections between your Wi-Fi devices. And as always, these benefits come with expenses. You will need a device that can use the 6 GHz band, so 6E, and not only is the router needing to be upgraded, your Wi-Fi devices also will need to be able to use that band. So what's gonna happen now? Well, most products will look at this and say, we're not gonna build a Wi-Fi 6 device, we'll build a Wi-Fi 6E device. Because if we haven't started R&D yet, we might as well just do that now and use the top rank. So 
it is backwards compatible and you theoretically, you should see the benefits straight away as soon as you start using it. So same question as before, is it upgrade time? I was about to say you shouldn't run into the store and buy a Wi-Fi 6E routers, but I snapped back to reality. So just like Wi-Fi 6, you shouldn't jump online and order a whole slew of Wi-Fi 6E routers. Who goes to a shop these days? Your Wi-Fi 5 setup is more than adequate at home due to the stark reminder that fast internet is rare in Australia and actually in many countries. And the NBN fiber is a mythical beast. One thing to also note, a question that I bet will be asked is, will my old devices still work? And simply yes, each new iteration of a router will not sell very well if it cannot connect to as many devices as possible, especially ones that people don't swap out very often. Though sure, maybe in 20 years from now, some obscure device might not be able to connect to your brand spanking new 10 gig network. But don't worry, someone somewhere on Google will have a solution for you. <laughs> So there it is, Wi-Fi 6E, another useless acronym to add to our repertoire. And for now, it won't be noticeable at all. Expect at least 12 months before any mobile device can use that band and two years before the majority utilize these bands on a daily basis. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think about Wi-Fi 6E. And if you like this video, then tap that like button. If you would like to see more, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and bye.